Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a quick haul for you guys. Um, I'm just going to be showing you the stuff that me and my friend picked up from Marshalls and TJ Maxx this past Friday and also the school bag that I bought for next year when I go off to college and I'm like totally obsessed with it already and I think it's adorable. So I'm going to show it, I'm going to show you the bag last. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the other stuff. So, um, we went to TJ Maxx and this, I only got one thing from TJ Maxx. And they are these really cute shoes from Guess. And they actually got a six and a half. What I've noticed is Guess shoes run really large, at least for me. So I actually got, like I said, I got a six and a half, but I'm normally a seven or a seven and a half. So I absolutely love these. They have like the cork detailing and they're just like a light brown. And it's like perfect for summer. And these were originally $70 and I got them for $30. So that's the only thing I got at TJ Maxx. And then we went to Marshall's first. And I picked up a couple things. So the first thing is like what I was so excited about. We were just walking through by the purses and stuff and I saw this. And it is a Jessica Simpson iPad case. And it's like snakeskin. And just the other day I was talking about how I don't have anything snakeskin whatsoever. And I didn't think I was really into it. But as soon as I saw this I was like I have to have this. So pretty much you just pull this out. You can push it whatever. And then it opens up. And I actually have my iPad in here already. But... It's, um, it has like the heart, I don't know if you guys can see that. It has all this room in here for all your stuff. You can put like your ID, some cards, and then this actually opens up if you want to put like money or whatever you want in there. But I think it's really cute because you can just take this and have all the stuff you need and you're ready to go. And then it just hooks your iPad in with these four little things on the side and it's just so cute. And this was originally $48. I got this for $3. And the only reason is because it's kind of ripped up right here, but it's like, I'm just going to throw it in my bag anyway, and it's probably going to get ripped up. So, yeah, literally $3 at Marshall's. So, I was so excited about that. And the next thing I got is a really cute shirt. I barely ever wear blue, and I figured I should probably get some since you have to wear bright colors and stuff for spring. So I got this shirt. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. So on this side, it is like cotton. Then on this side, it's like um, like a shinier material. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't think it says on the tag or anything. And then up here, by where it will be on your chest, like this little triangle right here, it's a sheer material. So I think it's really cute because it's not just like a plain blue shirt, but it has like a lot of detail with all the um, different triangles of fabric. So it's really cute. And it's really fitted at the waist, but then it gets flowier at the top. So I absolutely love that. This next thing is something that I have been looking for everywhere. And every time I found shorts like this, I just wasn't like in love with them. So I found my perfect pair of like corally orange shorts. They just look like this. Oh, I didn't mention to you what brand this was. This is actually from Elodie, E-L-O-D-I-E. -E. So that's where the shirt is from. And these shorts are from Celebrity Pink. I know that they carry this brand at like Macy's and I don't know where else but I've never seen these shorts anywhere except for Marshalls. So they're just like I said corally orange and they have like this kind of like tribally printed like short. I mean the pockets right here so they stick out and if you don't want to show those you can tuck them up because I tried. They just have plain backs like plain pockets. And this was originally $26. And I got it for $13. So these are really cute and they're stretchy and they're super comfy. The next thing is something that isn't really like practical. I just thought it was funny and I think that they're cute and they're just these glasses right here. And they just look like, they're like the see-through glasses, whatever. And I've been seeing a lot of people making those Hello Kitty glasses or buying them. And I figured I could always make them with this. I could just like put a bow on it or whatever. So I thought this would be cute to have. So I bought them. And those, I can't, oh wait, these were originally $14 and I got them for 8 And these are from Dollhouse. I don't know what that is, but yeah. And then this is the last thing I bought from Marshalls, which I think these are so cute. And they are these sunglasses. And these are Steve Men's sunglasses. So they have like the brown lenses and then it has the white trim all at the top and then on the sides it's white until here and this is like they always do this on like glasses when it kind of looks like animal print but it's really just splotches of like black and brown so it's like that these are steve men i can't remember if i put the tag in here 
Um, I'll just look at the receipt really fast. I got these for $10, and I think they originally $20. I don't know, but they're just so cute, and I'm obsessed. And I'm actually going to be doing an outfit of the day, I think, with some of these clothes soon. So stay tuned for that. So that's all I got at Marshalls, and I think I got all of that for around $50, which is really cheap. So then the last thing I have to show you is my school bag, and I saw this at Macy's, and I was like, I'm getting that. I have to have it. I was going to buy the Michael Kors um, laptop bags from Apple, but they were like $250 and all they literally fit was the laptop and like your iPad and your iPhone and there wasn't much space for anything else. So I didn't really like that because I figure I'm going to be on campus and I'm going to have like books and stuff to carry too. So I figured I needed something a little bit more functional. So I saw this. It's like really big. It's like humongous. And this is the Michael Kors large work tote. And the only thing problem about this is it's only at Macy's and I know that there's not that many left like in the country so if you want something like this I suggest you hurry up and go online and order it because I know they're gonna get rid of these but this was I know this is a lot for a bag but this was $348 but um, I kind of bought this because they're having friends and family sale soon which is like 25% off all designer um, merchandise and stuff like that so I bought it just so I made sure that I had it and I'm gonna take it back and repurchase it when friends and family because that'll save me like a good amount of money so I'm gonna do that but I guess I can show you like I showed you before that that's just the print it's like that white with like that brown with the letters then it just has the little MK over here there's a little pocket on the back for like your phone or your keys or anything you want to slip in there and then in here it's so big you can put your computer in here I tried putting the 13 inch MacBook Pro in there in the zippered pocket which is right here right in here right there and it didn't fit exactly just because it doesn't open all the way to the side but I like to put my iPad in there because the MacBook Pro is metal it's pretty much protected but my iPad has the glass case on it or the glass screen so I like to put that in there instead which I've tried I've like figured it out how I'm gonna organize everything in here already and then there is, on the other side, there is a zip pocket, the big pocket for, like, your phone or whatever, a lip gloss pocket, and then also the little, um, whatever this is called, like, a key finder. You just clip your keys on. And then there's just all of this space where all that wrap, that, like, paper is for anything else. So you could just use this as, like, half a purse and half a school bag or put all your textbooks in there. And you would think that this would be so heavy, but it really isn't. And it feels really nicely made and... I'm obsessed with this bag. I love Michael Kors bags. They are always such good quality and they always hold up really well. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, yeah, so let me know if you want to see anything else like that outfit of the day. I'll probably post it up anyway, but just in case anybody wants to see it, um, you can leave requests for videos below, anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye!